Greetings, sisters, Pastor Linda. I am here praying away at home. It's 10 o'clock, actually it's 10.09. And if you're out there, um, I'm gonna have my phone. If you need prayer for anything, please let me know. I'm gonna be praying this morning. <clears throat> the Lord has put it on my heart to pray for just to pray. I mean, if you're born of the Spirit, you're going to want to pray because the Holy Spirit in us, that's if you're listening to the Holy Spirit because he's always talking. How do I know that? Because Jesus said, <clears throat> my sheep hear my voice and they know me. So if Jesus is the shepherd and we're the sheep and we need to be listening. All right. So I am just going to go on Facebook here my phone <clears throat> and if you are watching please let me know and if you have any prayer requests please let me know and let's see if this uh, it says it's live and i don't see it on here yet hmm. oh there we go it is live all right. So if you have a prayer request, please join me for prayer this morning. What is your, do you have a prayer request? Jesus said, my house should be called a house of prayer. And God answers prayer. Because I, how do I know? Well, I've known him for 50 years and he's answered multitudes of prayer. So please, uh, if you have a prayer request, please let me know. And, uh, or just pray with me this morning. All right. So we're going to just have a prayer book. I was just sharing with somebody last week. Funny, funny, if you're on, please let me know <clears throat> that I made myself a tea. This is my tea, green tea, black tea. Um, I have multitudes of different kinds of herbs in here. And I put um, MCT oil, coconut milk, um, stevia, Celtic salt, and a bunch of other like uh, bee pollen and uh, all kinds of different ginger and turmeric and herbs in there that's what i have for my breakfast all right <clears throat> so the prayer prayer today you know as we pray we need to remember our god the bible says in hebrews 11 that we if we that when we come to god we must believe that he is obviously and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him so today we're coming before the father <clears throat> in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a great teacher. He is the one who helps us. Jesus said, you know, I'll send you the Holy Spirit. And he'll teach you all things. He'll bring all things to remembrance and he'll show you things to come. That's the great teacher. So we are not alone. We have the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And I did a series on the Gospel of John if you really want to know the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, you got to watch that set, that whole over 30 videos they did on the Gospel of John. And uh, powerful, powerful. Revolutionized my life and my prayer life because you get to know the Father through the eyes of Jesus, and then you get to know the Holy Spirit through the eyes of Jesus. And Jesus was a human. He became a man. He was the Word before he became Jesus Christ. He was the Father, the Word, and the Spirit, eternal forever. So if you want to know the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, get to know Jesus through the Word. He is the Word made flesh. Amen? That's what John says, too. All right. So I'm just going to read some things from here. And as I do, I'm going to just, uh, just get in an attitude of prayer and praise and thanksgiving. The Bible says in Psalms 100, says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. 
So Lord, we come before you today with thanksgiving in our heart, Lord. Thanksgiving for all the wonderful things that you've done for us, God. You are such a great God. I thank you for your goodness to us, your mercies that are new every morning. Thank you for your loving kindness, Lord. Thank you for the gifts of the spirit, for the fruit of the spirit. Thank you for the power of your spirit. Thank you for that you've not left us orphanless, but Jesus, you said that when I leave, I'm going to send you the Holy Spirit and he will be your comforter or helper. So thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the Holy Spirit, Jesus. Thank you for hearing our prayers. The Bible says that you, you, you said in uh, Revelations 6 and 8 that there's vials of, in heaven with our prayers in them. And you're going to throw them back to the earth. And that's going to be with thunder and lightning. So I believe that's the power of those prayers coming back to earth. Amen. The, the, what they're going to affect in the earth. So if you have a prayer request, please let me know. All right. So who do I have watching? Rose. Hi, Rose. How are you doing? Good to see you. If you have any prayer requests, please let me know. All right. So it is December 14th at 10, 15 a.m. And we are live on Facebook. So we're giving thanks to God right now because the Bible says to enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. So Father, we thank you. We enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. We praise you. I praise you, God, for who you are, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. You're El Shaddai, the all-sufficient one, Jehovah Jireh, my provider, Jehovah Rapha, my healer, Jehovah Shalom, my peace, the Jehovah Sidkenu, my righteousness. Thank you, Father, for being everything and, and anything I need, you are there. All of my needs are met according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus, Lord. I thank you that you're an abundant God, that you came, Jesus, that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Thank you, Father, for sending Jesus. Thank you for Jesus, for sending the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus, for coming, being willing to come and pay the price, the penalty, buying us, purchasing us back through the blood of your, your precious blood, Jesus. I thank you that we're, the value that you placed upon us, Father, was your son and your son's blood. So I thank you for that value, that covenant we have with you, Father God. Lord, I thank you in uh, Genesis 20, verse 7, talking about the covenant. He said, now, therefore, talking to Abraham, he said, restore this man's wife, for he is a prophet. And he will pray for you and you will live. But if you do not restore her know that you will you shall surely die you and all of yours because the abraham had a covenant with almighty god and because of that covenant god was protecting abraham's wife and his seed for ever because jesus was going to come through that seed of abraham and abraham was the father of our faith and it says he said if you don't restore this man's wife he said you will surely die and yours that's the power of the covenant if you know that you have a covenant with almighty god god in that covenant he protected he protected his own he protected abraham's seed his wife his seed so father we thank you for that covenant we have the covenant promises we have with you father god for protection provision lord and for and you prospered abraham and you made him Lord, you, you made him, uh, Lord, you blessed his family. And uh, Lord, even through the, the time of famine, you raised up his son to protect and provide for him. And through that covenant you made. So I thank you that we have even a better covenant based upon better promises in the New Testament. That's what you tell us, Lord. In Hebrews, we have a better covenant, Lord. And I thank you in Hebrews 13, it says, now the blood of the everlasting covenant you have a blood covenant with you almighty god thank you lord almighty god for the covenant that we have with you hallelujah thank you for your promises in your word and so father we thank you god that we can walk in your presence today with our whole heart we set our mind on you on heavenly things father god we set this time to pray focus in on you we thank you lord for a uh, just a prayerfulness in the spirit. Pray through us by your spirit. Holy Spirit, we thank you for the continual prayerfulness that you, your, your spirit is praying through us. In the Holy Ghost, 
Rosoti makile bashete mono ke sele bashanda. Rosete makashande. Lebo kisi tere masheta ko. Kose teme neneke. Rapo sonde la bakashe. Oh, the Lord would just say, he would just say to you today, no, that he has been speaking and he's talking and he's telling you things. He said, listen to me, for I have purposed and planned and have a plan for your life. I have purposed and have a plan for your life. Don't just throw it away. No, that my plans, and my purposes will be performed and perfected in your life. Just come and sit at my feet. Know me today, says the Lord, and I will speak to and through you today. So don't be frustrated. Don't be thinking you're forsaken. I have not left you. I have not left you, says the Lord. You are not forsaken. You are my own. You are bought with a price, and I love you, says the Lord. Wow. Hallelujah. That's the spirit of intercession. He's calling every one of us to a spirit of intercession. Luke 8, 26. Luke 8, 26. Hallelujah. Let me read Luke 8, 26. Kurram, amrama, sandara, baba, baba. shana. This is what it says in Luke, or not Luke, but Romans 8, 26. Glory, sandare, kele, ba, shandara, ba. Ko, shandara, mama, 8, 26. Father, thank you for the Holy Ghost. Thank you for the Holy Ghost today. Oh, thank you, Lord, for the spirit of intercession. Hallelujah in Romans 8. Thank you, Lord. This is what it says. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. It says, for whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he, pre he predestined, these he also called. Whom he called, these he also justified. Whom he justified, he also glorified. It says, it says, what shall we say then? If God is for us, who can be against us? He did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? The Lord wants you to know that he is he, he didn't withhold anything from you. And how much more shall he give you freely? All the good, all his, all good things, all of the things that he has for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. Father, we just thank you that we are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. All right. So this is what it says. Likewise, the spirit in verse 26 also helps us in our weaknesses, helps in our weaknesses. For we do not know what we should pray for as we ought but the spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uh, which cannot be uttered in other words we don't know what to say in the natural mind but we can pray in the spirit so lord i thank you god for the spirit who helps us in our weaknesses and it says we don't know how to pray as we ought but the spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered in other words we can't it, say them in English, but they're groanings in the spirit. So, Father, I just thank you for the spirit of intercession coming upon your people today. For a spirit of intercession, Lord God. Hallelujah. For in verse 27, for he who searches the hearts knows what the mind of the spirit is because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, that you make intercession through us and for us, God, <clears throat> by your spirit. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord, <clears throat> for our spirit of intercession, Lord. And Father, we just, we lift up those who are watching. We lift up those who are going to watch. We lift up our families. We lift up this country before you, God. We lift up, <clears throat> Lord, our uh, leaders and the elections father integrity we lift up lord god the um the judges and the things that are at the supreme court right now regarding election integrity lord i pray god for those that are the judges that are looking at this case father god from 2020 god that they would just judge righteously and with justice and truth 
We bind the spirit of deception and lying spirits off of anyone in the in the of the judges in Jesus' name. We pray for justice and truth and righteousness to prevail. Lord, in all of the court's decisions, whether they be local, state, or federal, God, we pray for righteousness, justice, and truth in all of the court system. We pray, God, that uh, anybody that's that's not righteous, justice, or truth, walking in truth, would repent and come to know you, Jesus. If they won't repent, we pray, remove them from any place of of uh, authority and any place of making uh, in decisions regarding our future and our lives, God. We pray that. Uh, for our country, God, Lord, you said, first of all, pray for those leaders over us. We pray for them, God, pray for them to come to know you, pray that they repent. If they don't, Father, we pray, remove them and replace them with godly people who will stand for righteousness, justice, and truth in Jesus' name. And Father, we pray for, um, Lord, just a spirit of intercession to come upon your church. We pray that your church would arise in China. We pray that, that the, uh, as we are the light, light overcomes darkness. I pray that the church would arise and shine, become the light in the earth, the light in the government, be the light in their school the boards and in their universities and in their uh, teaching and um, in the police departments and in the elections and, and everything that concerns us, Father, in justice and truth, Father God, in the hospitals and um, in our healthcare system, Father God, I pray for righteous justice and truth to prevail in Jesus' name. Lord, you thank you. You said in your word, Father God, that you give your angels special charge of us. Lord, we thank you that no evil will for us, befall us in Jesus' name. Lord, you said in your word that, um, that not, no weapon formed against us will prosper. Lord, and that includes bioweapons, Lord. Any weapons that are trying to form against us, we thank you that they shall not prosper in Jesus' name. Any tongue that rises against us, we condemn in Jesus' name, because that's our heritage of the Lord in Isaiah 54. Father, we claim that in Jesus' name. We thank you that our righteousness is of you. In the name of Jesus, Lord, thank you, God. We thank you for a spirit of intercession. We thank you that you pray through us and in us, God. We thank you that you, when the, let the weak say, I'm strong, Lord, I'm strong in you, Father God, in the power of your might. Lord, I thank you for giving us what to pray and how to pray. Holy Spirit, and who to pray for today in Jesus' name with the Holy Spirit's help. Thank you for grace to pray and, and, and your, your power. You said in, we, in Hebrews, we can come boldly into the very throne room to find grace and, and, and mercy and grace to help in time of need in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord God, that you hear our prayers. You said in 1 John 5, if we ask anything according to your will, you hear us. And if you hear us, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of you. 1 John 5, 14. In Jesus' name, your Bible in your word is your will. So we just pray your will today be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thank you for giving us this day our daily bread and forgiving us our trespasses. Lord, as we forgive those trespass against us, Lord, we forgive. Lord, and we release anyone who sinned against us, Lord, and we pray for them. We bless them in Jesus' name. And we thank you, God, because as we forgive, you'll forgive us, Lord. You'll forgive me. I release anyone that sinned against me, and I, I bless them, and I pray over them, and I say, be released, and be blessed, and be prosperous, and be healthy, and be whole in the name of Jesus, Lord. I thank you for blessing us. And Father God, and I thank you that you hear our voice, and uh, Lord, we hear your voice, and we receive, Lord, and we hear from you. We're taught of you. And great is our peace, Isaiah 54. Lord, you said our children would be taught of Lord, and great is their, is their peace in Jesus' name. So thank you, Lord. Thank that we listen to your voice, Father, and we receive from you today in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you that our heart is enlarged, Lord, that we have the heart of, of God. Jesus, it says in, uh, I believe it's in Romans, it says that we have the mind of Christ. So we hold the feelings and thoughts and intents of our heart in your heart, Father God. And I thank you that your heart is in our heart and we're in your heart, Lord. We're hidden in God in Christ, Lord God. I thank you that we're in that secret place. And uh, Lord, you have strengthened us in that secret place, Lord God. And I thank you for all your precious promises. You said to bring you in remembrance of your word. So we bring you in remembrance of your word today. Great is your faithfulness, Lord. You are faithful, God. Lord, and we just uh, thank you, Lord God, that you are <clears throat> working out every situation, Lord God. I thank you that for all the seeds that we've sown, you protect the seed in the earth. You protect our physical seed, our spiritual seed, our financial seed, Lord God. You protect all of our seed, Lord. We're sowers. 
we're tithers, Lord. You said in Malachi 3 that you'd, you'd rebuke the devour for our sake and you'd open the windows of heaven and pour out such blessing. There's not room enough to receive us. And we can prove you in this. So, Lord, I thank you that we've tithed you for since 1980, God. And we thank you that the windows of heaven are open unto us. Lord, we prove you in that in Jesus' name. Thank you that all of our needs are met according to your riches and glory and according to, to, to uh, Malachi 3 that the windows of heaven are open unto us, God, because we're tithers. We can prove you in that in Jesus' name. And you rebuke the devour for our sake in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. I stand upon your promises, Lord God. And I thank you, Lord, that your church is arising and shining. Isaiah 60 says, Arise, shine, and the light has come, for the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Great darkness will be upon the earth, but glory with the glory of the Lord will be upon you. We know he's speaking to Israel, and he loves Israel, and Israel is going to fulfill their destiny. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We pray for Israel to be saved. We pray for anyone that's Jewish that doesn't know Jesus. We pray that they would come to a revelation of Isaiah 53, that they'd know the Messiah of Isaiah 53 and Isaiah 9, 6 and Malachi um, 5. It's, I think it's a book of Malachi 5. All of those prophetic scriptures about Jesus. And then read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Jesus was Jewish. And all of his disciples were Jewish. So I pray for my Jewish friends that they would be saved, Father God. Pray for Israel. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Bless Israel today in Jesus' name. And Lord, I pray, Lord God, that all men would be saved, Father God, and come to know you, Jesus. For, for you are the God who sent, the Father sent his only son so that we could have life and life more abundantly through Jesus' blood shed. And thank you, Father, because of what Jesus did on the cross, now we can come boldly into the very presence. Hebrews uh, 12 says, we can come boldly into the throne room because of the blood of Jesus. So thank you, Lord, for allowing us to come into the very presence of Jesus, into the throne room through the blood of Jesus. And you don't see it, you don't, Jesus took the judgment so we don't have to be judged. Thank you, Jesus, for taking my judgment, my sin, and, be, and wiping my sins away clean so that I can come boldly into the throne room and pray and seek your face father god in jesus name thank you lord and father we thank you for uh, lord for our families lord we pray that all of our families would come to know you lord our children our grandchildren great grandchildren future generations lord should you tarry and lord we leave this earth we thank you god that future generations we pray that they will come to know you and be saved father god that you protect our seed from now through eternity lord we claim that all of our children and great children Great grandchildren and grandchildren, they're taught of the Lord in future generations, are taught of the Lord and great is their peace, and they're filled with your spirit, walking in your word. That you protect them, that the eyes of their understanding are enlightened. They know the hope to which you called them. They know the exceeding grace of your power towards them. They know the riches of the glory of their inheritance to you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father God. We thank you for the gifts of the Holy Spirit today. The word of wisdom, the word of knowledge, tongues, interpretation, discerning the spirits. We thank you for the gift of healing, the working of miracles, the gift of faith, Father God, and discerning the spirits, Lord God, and prophecy. And uh, I don't remember if I said, said all that faith and uh, word of wisdom, word of knowledge, Lord, all of those things, Father God. I thank you for the gifts. You said to covet them earnestly. The best gifts, Father, the best gifts are what people need. Because I thank you, Lord, you know exactly what people need. So if you need any of those gifts, I pray for them right now to be released. In Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus, be released. Be released in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father God, for the gifts of the Holy Spirit being released to all those who are watching in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hey, Rose, good to see you. Anybody have prayer requests out there? Uh, hallelujah, Ruth. If you have any prayer requests, please let me know. Pray for, um, Rose said, pray for, let's see, I got to see here. Um, oh, yes, Lord, we pray, I pray for Rose, Father God, just for the spirit of comfort for Rose in Jesus' name. Lord, let your spirit comfort Rose in the name of Jesus. Lord, uh, with the loss of her husband, Richard, God. We thank you, God, that, um, Lord, that you are the great comforter, the great strengthener. The rose, the Lord said, let the weak say I'm strong. So just say, thank you, Father. I am strong by the power of your Holy Spirit today. 
comfort her heart, Lord. I thank you that Jesus, you sent your Holy Spirit, the great comforter. He's the great teacher and he's the great comforter. He wants to comfort you. And he is the father to the fatherless and he's the husband to the widow. So I thank you, God, for just being her everything today, God, meeting her emotionally and, and physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, Lord God, just, just sending her, a, Lord, a emotional uh, and, and just hugging your father, God, by your spirit, father, God, in Jesus name, you know, he created your emotions. He created everything. He knows everything about you and he can meet and just be with you and meet your needs today. So father, I thank you, God, and for her son, Stephen and family to come um, and be reconciled with them and restore the relationships. Lord, yes, I just feel like um, there's a lot of a lot of relationships out there today that need to be restored. So, Father, I just thank you for restoration, Lord. In fact, I was just reading um, this week in, um, I think it's in Isaiah, where he just talked about that your children, your sons at will, and your daughters will come from afar your daughters will be nursed by your side and i'm talking about their son your son's coming back from wherever they're at so lord we just thank you god for just bringing in that bringing back relationships and family members god in jesus name we just find the spirit of division the spirit of um just uh division in jesus name we bind that spirit in jesus name and we just loose and we allow your holy spirit of power to just a minister, minister, Father God, in Jesus' name, minister to Rose and to her family, to Steve and their family, Lord, for anyone else who needs their family restored. Thank you for restoring their family in Jesus' name. You're the God of restoration. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And for Ruth, I bless Ruth from, El pa from uh, Eagle Pass, Texas. Hallelujah. We just had to some are uh, Servando and Lily, Jojo and or Servando and Lily are pastors from uh, uh, our Spanish pastors are going down to Mexico. And I think they live in Eagle Pass, Texas. So they have, at least have a house down there. Um, but they're going into Mexico this week to uh, do a graduation on Saturday. So let's just lift them up for Father. We lift up Servando, Lily, Joel, Joba Jr., all of their family. We lift up Rosario in Mexico. Father God, as they go into Mexico, as they do the graduation this weekend on Saturday, we pray, God, for all of our uh, students to just come to a fullness and knowledge of you, that you'll use them and all of our previous students. Lord, we have almost 200 students now that have graduated through the International School of Ministry in Mexico, El Salvador, Honduras. God, we pray, God, that you would just minister to them, that they would uh, fulfill the destiny and calling you have for them. Use Servando and Lily and Joel as their... Uh, or Joab, as they're uh, ministering this weekend, and Rosaria, we pray that there be a great outpouring of your Holy Spirit. We pray for protection for them. Watch over them. We watch over their truck, their, their whatever they're driving, God. We pray for protection over them, over there physically and spiritually and mentally and emotionally in every way, God. We pray your, the blood of the everlasting covenant. We thank you for the blood, and we thank you for your body that was broken. We thank you for your peace. The peace that was lost in the garden was restored for perfect peace. I think for perfect peace for them, God. And thank you for Ruth in, uh, from El Paso, uh, Texas, God. We pray that you bless her, uh, bless them in Jesus' name. Thank you for Jenny, God, uh, for her friend, uh, for her blood test, God. We just thank you, God, that you are in the blood business, God, <laughs> the blood covenant. Why God wants us to protect our blood. You know, that's the only thing in the New Testament that we are commanded not to eat is blood. Blood is very sacred to God because life is in the blood. So, you know, just remember that everything concerns the blood, even in the natural, um, even in, what does he say? In first John, he says, uh, these three he says the water, the blood, no, and the spirit. I got to look that one up. Um, so it's important that we understand um, the blood covenant because it's so important and um, like I said, it's something that we are, uh, we're supposed to know about. Let me look here. I'm looking up that scripture. That was um, the blood and the water. Just type in, I'm just going to go into Blue Letter Bible. Um, let's see, blood. Can't do it with one hand. Blood plus water. 
All right, so let's see. In First John, it says, and these three that bear witness on earth, the spirit, the water, and blood, and these three agree as one. And he came by water and blood, Jesus Christ, not only by water, but by water and blood. And it is the spirit who bears witness because the spirit is true. So, and then the blood covenant, I'm going to look that one up. Blood plus covenant. You can just do that in the blue letter Bible.org and look it up. All right. So here it talks about the blood covenant. And it says, um, oh my goodness, the, uh, Exodus talks about Moses took the blood and sprinkled it on the people. He said, This is the blood of the covenant which the Lord made with you according to all these words. And then in Zechariah, it says, Also for you. For you also, because of the blood of your covenant, I will set your prisoners free from the waterless pit. That's hell. It says in Matthew 26, it says, for this is the blood, my blood of new covenant. He said, and then in Hebrews, he said, this is the blood of the covenant, which I command, which God has commanded you. And Hebrews 12, 24, to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant and to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things than Abel. So God is the God of the blood covenant. So it's important that we understand and know <clears throat> his covenant. Amen. All right. <clears throat> Let me go back here and see who we've got. Um, so, Lord, we just thank you for Jenny's friend, Lord God, for just, uh, Lord, whatever uh, is working in, in and through her, in her blood, Lord Jesus, uh, sending your life. Uh, into her blood, Lord, and just cleaning it up. Father, we thank you for supernatural <clears throat> power of your Holy Spirit. Just because you love us. Amen. Just some of my tea. All right, Rose. Amen. <clears throat> Amen, Rose. Praise God. Dios, Dios todo, todos. Bendigas, Ruth, La Mission, Mexico. I know. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> Amen. That's my broken Spanish. I know very Paquito Spanish. Uh, I do know that is uh, um, the mission. Amen. For, for Mexico. Amen. Hallelujah. We just thank you for the blessing of the mission in Mexico. Lord, we thank you, God. Thank you for moving by your spirit, Lord. Anyone else out there, you need prayer. Kathleen, we just pray for Kath Kathleen. I haven't seen you for a long time. How are you doing? Praise God. This is Linda from Pastor Linda from Minnesota. Good to see you. You're, I know you moved away, but it's good to see you online. Praise God. So I thank everybody. We're just uh, just committing things to the Lord today. Father, we just thank you for your, uh, we pray for laborers to be sent into the harvest uh, because Lord, there's a huge harvest out there. So I pray God that they would just help us to raise up laborers. Lord, I pray and I pray that you be praying for me for this weekend. In fact, for tonight too, for our practice tonight and for Sunday, we're having a play practice tonight. We're doing a play, play, play. It's called the greatest gift and the greatest gift ever. And so I, we just pray that people will come out and receive Jesus and uh, well, that, that everything, everybody remember their lines and everything would really go well and, and God would use it for his glory. John 15, 5, it says, Jesus said, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you can ask what you will and shall be done into you. And 5, he said, apart from me, you can do nothing. But we know that, you know, Paul said, with, but through Christ, we can do all things. And then it says in John 15, 8, that when we bear much fruit, the Father's glorified. So we want, we pray for the fruit of the harvest. We pray for souls to come into the, um, the kingdom this weekend father this week in jesus name and today even as we're praying here in jesus name if you don't know jesus you can just try it and say jesus be my lord be my savior i'm sorry for my sin please forgive me wash me clean thank you for your blood that your death burial resurrection at the cross two thousand years ago because you you died went to hell got back the keys of death and hell and you rose again from the dead because you rose again from the dead and took my sins that I can have life eternal and be filled with your Holy Spirit and live for you. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for delivering me. Thank you for healing me today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So let's see what else. Um, remember the gifts of the Holy Spirit. 
working in the miracles, gifts of healing, gift of faith, First Corinthians 12 chapter, said, covet them earnestly. And I asked this question a lot. I said, how many of you out there have been coveting the gifts of the spirit? That's the strongest word for desire. The one thing you can desire in the whole world, you can desire the gifts of the spirit. Yet, I don't know very many people that have ever and are still on a regular basis, daily basis, saying, Lord, I desire your gifts. You know, Pastor Dave and I, when we pray in the morning, I, I pray, thank you, Lord, for using us. I thank you for the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the fruit of the Spirit. The word of, and, and then I go through the gifts of the Spirit and speak them out and claim them. And you can do that, too. So I claim them for you today because the gifts are to be given out. So I give them out to you today in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the manifestation of the Holy Spirit today in Jesus' name. The anointing of the Holy Spirit. I just pray, God, an anointing upon all those who are watching, who those who are going to watch in Jesus' name. That their eyes would be flooded with light. That they know the hope to which you've called them. That they know the exceeding greatness of your power towards them and the riches of the glory of their inheritance in you in Jesus' name. And Lord, in Ephesians 3, the Apostle Paul said, I bow my knees unto the Father. Lord, I bow my knees before you, Father God. And I thank you, Lord, that you said you'd grant unto us that we would be strengthened with all might by your spirit today. Thank you, Lord, that you strengthen each one, each person today by your might, by the might of your Holy Spirit. And Jesus, you said, I believe it's in John, he said, my food is to do your will, O God, and to finish your work. Father God, that's my desire, my food, my desire, my passion, my, my, the thing that gives me strength is to know and to do your work, Father God, and to finish your work. So thank you, Lord, for, for using us today, using me today, God. Thank you, Lord, for your light that has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon us. Lord, thank you for that anointing upon us today. Thank you for salvation for all of our family, our children, our grandchildren, great-grandchildren, relatives, especially at this Christmas holiday season, God. As we get together with family, Lord, we pray that you just bring restoration and salvation to our household in Jesus' name. We bind this blinding spirit. We bind the spirit of uh, deception. We bind anything that would try to steal from us in Jesus' name. We render it ineffective and powerless. In the name of Jesus, we cast those spirits into the sea. Command them to stay there in Jesus' name and off of our family, off our children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, off of our church members, off our family members and, G and their family members in Jesus' name, off our spouses, off of our loved ones in Jesus' name. Uh, and we thank you that our children and our grandchildren and our loved ones are taught of you and great is their peace in Jesus' name. And thank you, Lord God. Lord, we just pray for... Uh, Lord, that you just show yourself strong to our family, to our children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, Lord. Thank you for your protection this week, Lord, as everyone's traveling. Thank you for your angels who give special charge over each one. Protection, Lord, for our bodies. Um, we thank you, Lord, again, for the peace of Jerusalem, protection over Israel. Pray for the missionaries around the world as they're serving you, God, that you protect them, keep them safe. We pray for, um, Lord, for keeping our country safe, our military safe, God. We pray for... Um, Lord, uh, that you, for our homes, our clothes, our food, our cars, our, Lord, uh, our electric gas, Lord, everything that concerns us, Lord, our, our church buildings inside and out, we pray for our, uh, Lord, whatever concerns us today, we pray for your protection over all of it in Jesus' name. We commit it to you, and you're able to take care of that which is committed to you in Jesus' name. And we thank you, God, for moving by your spirit. Lord, we thank you for the open doors, ministry, to minister, and to reach the world with the gospel. You said to ask for the heathen, you give them to us as our inheritance, Lord. So I ask God for the heathen. I ask God for souls. And you said you give them to us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, that you're moving by your spirit today, God. We thank you, Lord, for our families and uh, for a spirit of intercession. Lord, we pray that the whole body of Christ would arise and shine. We thank you for um, that. Uh, you said that we would love one another. You said by this, men will know that we're your disciples lord if we love one another john 13 35 <clears throat> lord we just thank you god for your spirit hallelujah for the spirit of sanctification jesus you you prayed in the gospel of john <clears throat> sanctify them holy through thy truth and paul prayed god establish their hearts father unblameable in holiness sanctify you holy i pray god that you sanctify them by your truth, Father God, today, that you would establish their hearts unblameable in holiness today in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 
Father, we just thank you, Lord, in John 17 as well. He said, Holy Father, keep through your own name those you have given me. I pray not that you should take them out of this world, but that you would keep them from evil, Lord. So I thank you, Lord, for keeping us from evil, leading us not in temptation, but delivering us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever, Lord. Thank you for your presence and your power, your angels who give special charge over us, Lord, in Psalms 91. We thank you, God, that no evil will before us, Lord, befall us, because they bear us up in their hands lest we dash our foot against the stone. You, you said we should tread, tread upon the lion and the dragon and the uh, young lion, the dragon we should trample under feet, Lord, because we've known your name and we honor you. And with long life, will you satisfy us and show us your salvation in Jesus' name? And Lord, you said in 1 John 3, if our heart doesn't condemn us, we have confidence towards God. But whatever we ask, we receive of you. Lord, and we thank you that how we get our heart not to condemn us is just to say, Lord, I'm sorry for whatever I've done, Lord. In fact, I'm teaching my children how to pray in the children's church. And this is how what I'm teaching them. It's this, uh, say, God, you're awesome. This is from a, a, a little lesson we did in children's church. God, you're awesome. So when you stand praying, you can remember, God, you are so awesome. And I worship you because you're an awesome God. You're all powerful. You're all knowing. You're the great I am. Pastor David's preaching on the God being the great I am this week. God, you are the great I am. And then this one is God, thank you. Thank you for everything you've done for me. Thank you for your, your blood. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your peace. Everything. Thank you, God. And then this one means I'm, I'm sorry, God. I'm sorry, God. For anything that I've done to hurt you, God, forgive me. And the Bible says we, we can have confidence with God if our heart doesn't condemn us. And when we say, God, I'm sorry, First John 1, 9, he's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And then this one is, God, I pray for my, I pray that you help me. Help me with whatever I need today. God, help me to overcome, to be an overcomer. Help me to be filled with your spirit. Help me to walk in the spirit. Help me to hear your voice. Help me to read your word. Help me to know you more. Help me, God. Help me. Help me. And then the last one is help others, God. Help my family. Help our country. Help our leaders. Help help those who are standing for justice and truth and righteousness. Help us, God. And pray. Pray, pray, pray. And then this, this hand, so that's the right hand. So, God, you're awesome. Thank you, God. God, I'm sorry. God, help me. And God, help others. And this one is, God, you're awesome. Both of them. This one is pray with passion. God, with total passion father i just thank you god for your passion and your love and your goodness and this one is honesty be honest with god know that he he knows the hair very hairs on your head he knows everything you're thinking he knows everything you're doing you're not hiding anything from god so be honest with them say if you're angry at god tell him if you're angry at someone else tell him you know i have my little my little kids are so wonderful i just love these little five and six year olds they're in seven eight years old they're just so precious one little girl last, uh, I think it was a week ago, Wednesday, or it was two weeks ago, uh, we were, we were doing a play, play practice and I, and we're just getting ready to, to, uh, do the play practice. I let, I said, let's pray. She goes, N stop, stop. She goes, um, I have to say, I have to say something. I have to, I said, okay, okay, go ahead. And she goes, I have to pray. We have to pray. And I go, okay. I go. And then I said, well, let's do, go through the prayer. So she said, okay. So she started going through them and then she got, gets to, you know, God, I'm sorry. She goes, God, I'm sorry that I, and I, I think she, I don't know if she budged in some front of somebody or something. And anyway, she did something to some little other little girl or some little boy at, at school that day. And she said, God, I'm sorry. And, and, and she said, in fact, she said, it's an emergency. <laughs> so she couldn't pray. This is the purity of a little child. And I'm telling you, it's so precious. God said we need to come to him as a little child. So today, I encourage you to come to God as a little child and just say, God, I am sorry. You know, if we have that attitude every time we pray, if we just say, God, it's an emergency. I can't pray until I tell you, God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, God. And when you say, I'm sorry, he will take that away. And the Bible says that you can have confidence with God in 1 John 3, 21 and 22. If your heart doesn't condemn you and your heart won't condemn you once you give it to God, to God, I'm sorry. God, I'm sorry. He'll take care of you. Isn't <laughs> that awesome? Hallelujah. God is so good. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's see who else. Amen. Thank you, Rose. You have a wonderful Christmas too. And uh, we just thank you, Lord, for, for
for a wonderful Christmas for everybody's family this this uh, this holiday season, this Christmas and New Year's. So we pray, God, um, that you just pour out your spirit upon everyone today, God, and uh, show yourself strong in the name of Jesus, Lord. We thank you, God, that uh, you are a good God in the name of Jesus, Lord. We commit everything to you. If you have any, if you're watching, you have any other prayer requests before we go today. Um, Please let me know, and um, we will. Uh, oh, let me see here. All right. Just uh, I guess that's down. All right. So if you have any other prayer requests, Father, we just uh, as we wrap up today, Father, I just thank you, God, uh, for pouring out your Spirit. Um, John, John seventeen. Encourage you to read the prayer that Jesus prayed. He said. Uh, oh, default has changed. Oh, hmm. must have ran out of battery for my headset. All right, so let's just, uh, same as the system. MacBook Pro speakers. All right, well, looks like we lost my, lost my, um, my earbuds must have died. So, all right, we're going to wrap up today. And I'm just going to see if, if it's still coming through. Can you guys hear me? Uh, can you hear me there? Yeah. You can still hear me because it's saying you can hear me. So, Father, I just thank you, God, for moving by your spirit today, Lord. I uh, pray for all of our church members. Thank you, God, for moving by, by your spirit upon all of our church members in Faribault, Farmington, and Phoenix. Lord, I pray for... Uh, um, Marlene and Myrna and Phoenix, God minister to them. I pray for God for the Farmington Church and minister to all of the church members at Living Hope this week. Minister to them, show yourself strong. And for all the church members at Harvest Church in Faribault, God, minister, use us, use the play practice tonight, the play this weekend, God. Uh, we pray that you bring people out from the north, south, east, and west, Lord. Send your angels out to minister to those people and bring them in. I pray for the nine o'clock service on on uh, in Far farmington and the 11 o'clock service in uh, fairball in jesus name thank you god we just pour out your spirit we just thank you that you pour out your spirit upon us lord and show yourself strong hallelujah father we just thank you for jenny pray jenny pray for the whole schmicky family lord god pray for all of jenny's family lord uh, uh and her family lord we just pray god that you minister to all of her family all of their her children and grandchildren lord and all of a uh lord uh, we just pray that you'd show yourself strong to everyone father god that uh well we we just pray that there would be a great outpouring of your spirit this weekend uh your spirit of love and uh, reunion and and re restoration god we thank you for uh for restoration god for families this weekend for and for christmas god um and for next year father god for 20 23 god we pray for restoration show yourself strong to each one i pray in jesus name and bless uh, jenny bless rose lord um bless ruth father god and uh, we thank you god for showing yourself strong in jesus name well god bless you all thank you for watching today I encourage you to go to lindacross.com check out my um in fact uh, let me just show you that uh i'm going to Check out our websites here at lindacross.com. Um, let's see, I'm going to share my screen here so you can see it. Share screen. All right, so here's my screen. So we talked about the blood of the everlasting covenant. Know that you have a covenant with Almighty God through the blood of Jesus. All right, it's a blood covenant. It means legal rights with God. And uh, the way you get there, John 3, Jesus said in John, the third chapter, John 3, 3. This is what it says. Jesus said, most assuredly, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And Nicodemus said, how can he be born again when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb? Be born and jesus said most assuredly i say to you unless one is born of water and of the spirit he cannot enter the kingdom of god in other words you have to have a natural birth and a spiritual birth he said that which is flesh of flesh is flesh that's a natural birth 
That which is born of the spirit is spirit. So you have to have a spiritual birth. The wind blows where it wishes and you hear the sound of it, but you can't tell where it comes from. So, you, you know, you can't see the wind and he's saying, so is everyone who's born of the spirit. You can't see that you're born of the spirit, but you surely can feel that you know it. I know when I gave my heart to Jesus when I was 14, I knew immediately something had happened. I didn't know what it was. All right. And it says down here, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that through him, the world might be saved. You want to be saved? That means have a home in heaven and, and not go to hell. Hell is a terrible place, but there's just torment. But Jesus wants, because, because that's where sin is. We, we can't enter into heaven. If I could go to heaven, uh, the Bible says everybody sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. If I could get to heaven in my sinful state, heaven would be corrupted and it would be no longer beautiful and loving in God. But you know what? When I gave my heart to Jesus, he washed me clean and made me white as snow. And the Bible says that God would save me. He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten son of God. So we need to receive Jesus, the only begotten son of God. He's the perfect lamb of God, the sacrifice. And the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 10, verses 4, uh, 10, 2 Corinthians, no, 2 Corinthians 5, 21. It says for talking about Jesus. Well, let's go up here. It says, therefore, if anyone is Christ, he's a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And it says he reconciled us to, to himself through to God, through Jesus Christ. And then it says in verse 21, for he, that's God, the father made him Jesus who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. That's the key righteousness. You get to be righteous and go to heaven and be perfect in God's sight. And in fact, it says we can come boldly before the throne. All right, here's what it says. Hebrews 4, 16. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. The reason why we can come boldly is because of what Jesus did for us. All right, so praise God. So I encourage you to join us. Uh, go to a Harvest Church live.org for our church information we have men's breakfasts we've got our uh december 18th the greatest gift play come on out for that um we just had a woman's celebration that was a lot of fun i have a bedtime story time for kids on wednesday nights so come you can watch our service in the live streams here on harvestchurchlive.org um and just check out, I'll connect with us through the, uh, we've got a great uh, website here. And just, if you want to donate, you can go to connect uh, right here and you can get, or, uh, connect here. There's a church app and that shows all the different things that we're doing. You can connect on that website. So at the Harvest Church. Um, so if we go back here to Harvest Church Live, so it's harvestchurchlive.org um, and if you want to give we have an app here and um, once you can once you fill out that and continue you'll be oh it won't let me in for some reason uh, anyway once you get in there you'll be able to uh, make donations with your phone or online all right and then go to our living living hope cfc.org and we have a nine o'clock service that's in Farmington. And again, you can watch our Farmington live stream here and uh, check out everything there. And then I encourage you to go to my lindacross.com website. And here is where you can see, um, you can tap on some of my courses. It's my course, creative course, uh, some daily devotional. I have some devotionals there. And here's my uh, Arise and Shine um, Gospel of John series. This is part 17, but if you go there, uh, go to my YouTube channel. And once you go to my YouTube channel, you can click on the playlist, it's inspiration for living. And please subscribe because I need to get a lot more subscribers. Um, 
we've got 458. I actually need a thousand so that I can be able to um, get do live streaming on my phone. So it requires a thousand. So anyway, if you go to my playlist, um, or you can check here, right here, it says Gospel of John Bible Study. And then you'll see the playlist of all the different uh, shows I've done. I've got over 30 shows on, uh, it says 56, but I think there's some duplicates there. So encourage you to check all that out and, um, and get involved. And uh, if you'd like to, like I said, um, donate, you could either do, do it through Living Hope, um, if you want to help me out to continue to do programming and all of the things we're doing. We appreciate it. Appreciate it. We pray a hundredfold blessing on any uh, donations, gifts, gift giving you might do. So hallelujah. That's it for today. Thank you so much. God bless you, Father. I thank you for blessing and keeping each one. Pray your favor and peace upon each person today in the name of Jesus and your love. May you just give them a big hug from me, Lord, and a hug from you, Father. Um, just let them know that they're loved with an everlasting love and your banner over them is love in Jesus name. Amen. God bless you all. Have an awesome Merry Christmas and a wonderful happy new year. And I'm going to do this more. I'm trying to do this more uh, prayer time. So God bless you all. And um, let me just make sure that there's any other prayer requests before I go today. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm glad you got to join me today. Amen. All right. Thank you so much, Rose. Appreciate it. Thank you for the greetings and just uh, God bless you all. You are loved. Amen.